19 month olds, it turns out, uh, can use known words that is the linguistic context is another thing that can be helpful for kids uh, when they're figuring out what a new word means. So they can use known words like the verb crying to figure out unknown words. And so this is uh, from a set of studies that were done in 2014 and 2018 where they had a sample test scenario uh, where, they, where children know right, the known word cry and they know that only animate things, things that have agencies, things that are capable of crying can cry, right? So a rock can't cry, a fuzzy thing can't cry, but a little cute furry creature, sadly, can cry, right? So, you know, known word cry, knowing what that means, knowing which things are capable of crying. So when you say, ah, oh, look here, and then someone says, okay, you, oh, you know, two things there. The dax is crying, where is the dax? And as an adult, you're like, okay, if I know what, what crying means, then I, I'm gonna assume you're talking about this thing. Right, because the dax is crying. Well, I know cry, and this is the only thing capable of crying. That must be the dax, right? And 19 month olds do pick that one, right? Versus if you say, look here, the dax is right here. Well, that could be the fuzzy thing is right here, or that could be the fuzzy creature is right here. It's unclear which one is, right? But the important thing is that 19 month olds, like adults, hopefully, if you are able to follow along here, um, when given an informative linguistic context, an informative word like crying, uh, help zero in on what dax, that new word label, refers to, right? So we have an animate thing, the familiar verb that requires the animate agent tells you that that's the dax, and 19-month-olds are able to do this. Now, something that's important is that not all words are, are easy to use, right? It turns out it's not until 36 months, that is three years old, that children can use known adjectives like hungry to figure out unknown words. So crying, they're like, oh, animate things can cry. And you're like, well, hungry, and that seems like, you know, only animate things are capable of, of experiencing hunger, right? But it's not until they're much older that this same kind of setup, look here, oh, and you see this, okay, you're like, there's a fuzzy creature and there's a fuzzball. The LARP is hungry. Now, if you're an adult, you're like, well, okay, you must be talking about this thing because that thing's not capable of being hungry, right? Uh, so the LARP is hungry and you figure out that it's this one, but it's not until they're 36 months that kids can use hungry to figure out, oh, you must be talking about this thing. Unlike with crying, right, where they could figure it out at 19 months. Um, you know, as compared to when you just say the LARP is right here, then it's kind of like, well, the fuzzy creature is right here, or the, the fuzz ball is right here, either one, you know, I don't know. But when you have hungry, right, it takes you like some extra time to figure out how to use hungry, right? So not all words, not all known words are, are sort of created equal, it seems, when it comes to children's ability to harness them to figure out unknown words. Verbs uh, like crying seem to be uh, usable earlier than adjectives like hungry, for whatever reason. Uh, but you know, at general, at about 19 and 24 months, the number of verbs infants know, right? Because remember, verbs were the ones that they seem to be able to use earlier. Uh, that predicts their ability to use known verbs to learn novel nouns, like dax, right? So you know, the more verbs you know, the better you seem to do to be able to figure out new new nouns, right? So learning verbs seems to be like a really good idea uh, when you're younger. It seems to be something that kids uh, are able to use more easily than what seem to be fairly also simple words like adjectives like hungry.